Hey everybody, we're back at AmpFest 2022 with my good friend Sean Foyd from Let Us Worship. We got to talk about the Kingdom of the Capital Tour. What's going to be on the docket this next year? Man, it's going to be wild. It's going to be probably one of our most ambitious things we've ever done. Taking Let Us Worship, partnering with uh, you know Turning Point uh, USA Faith, yep. and going to every single state capital across America. I mean, like you're some, not missing one. No, we're, we're hitting all fifty. And, yeah, Juneau, Alaska, <laughs> we're rolling. Honolulu, <laughs> Hawaii, <laughs> let's go. Um, Pierre, I think it's South Dakota, North Dakota, <laughs> Bismarck, North Dakota, Pierre, yep. South Dakota. So, a lot of these places that are even obscure, mm. um, we're coming. Yep. You know, and I think it's actually what's cool about it is it's actually a a a an in person picture of us of the church taking ownership for what's happening legislatively in their state. And uh, so I think it's going to be an amazing, amazing tour, a wake up call for the church in America. It's time to rise up. Let's do this. Well, I love that we're living in this like faith into action thing because we can say a lot of great things in front of a camera and get people really fired up in a breakout panel or on stage. But when it's like, hey, my name's Sean Foyt. I'm taking this to every single capital yeah. in the United States because there needs to be revival around here. Right. And the fact that we constantly play defense as Christians, I, I totally, I, I don't get right. it. Right. But now that you're taking offense and saying, hey, we're going to infuse right. you with hope, not because of right. the worship that we have there, but who we're worshiping. Right. Yeah, I think that I think that it's, it's you know, our, our, our this is not a protest of a bunch of angry conservatives going to their state capital. I mean, we've seen all that. Yeah. This is joyful, hopeful Christians mm-hmm. showing up to their state capital, to their legislative epicenter. And really what I'm hoping is that uh, we'll see the most diverse, eclectic uh, gathering of the church, mm-hmm. right? I want to have all kind of churches there, yep. right? I'm spirit-filled, but I want re- Reformed. I want Baptist. I want yep. Methodist. Catholics. I mean, let's bring everybody. Yep. Let's show up and let's show our state government. Listen, we're the church yep. and we're paying attention to everything that's happening in this mm-hmm. building. We're going to engage in the season like never before. And I think we'll start to uncover, even as we go state by state, we'll start to uncover some things that maybe we didn't even know about, yep. you know, where we need to, we need to rise up for an education bill, or we need to rise up for a pro-life bill or whatever. Like it's time for us to start taking responsibility, not running, not hiding in a cave, not getting in the bunker, mm-hmm. waiting out the yep. end times, but becoming salt and light to the nation. Because I think that aspect of apathy, a lot of people are living into, and then that turned into, oh, we're going to let the government tell us if the church is essential. Right. I'll let uh, people in government tell me if I can go to church, but I can go to the grocery store, and if this is the right time to be talking about my faith. Right. But now we're in this place of enough is enough. Right. And we, I think we have to realize, I think that's what you do really well, is that America is a mission field. Right. No offense to anyone that goes internationally. Everybody right. needs to hear the word. Right. But I think we're realizing, especially with the way Gen Z right. and then um, yeah. single women and so many people around the country, the way they're voting right now, it's clearly against what it says in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, what we need to do is they just need to have an encounter with God. And I think mm-hmm. that, you know, I love all the things that, that we do to educate. I, I love the role to explain. But literally, man, like, people need encounters with God. Mm-hmm. You know, they need encounters with God. And what, you, what you'll find out is that when they start having an encounter with the Lord, when they give their life to the Lord, when they submit themselves to the leadership of Jesus, they start thinking differently, yeah. acting differently, voting differently. I mean, everything in your life lines up to that decision. And I think that we're at a place right now, and you know, I love this Fox News put this on their front page, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, um, a statement that I said where God is the only hope for America. Mm. And it's true. Yep. Our hope is not in a politician, it's not in an ideology, it's not in a political party. Mm. And I think we, we saw in the midterms, even those failed us, yeah. you know? And how amazing is it that our only hope that we have left now is in God? Mm-hmm. That's where we're always meant to be. Yeah, but I feel like that's human nature, though, too. We think that there's something we can do within ourselves, but yeah. we forget about the power that we have through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Why do you think people have such an amazing encounter with Christ through worship? 
Um, I, I think you know it, it's it's a moment where we 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 become detached from the narratives uh, that are swirling around us. Uh, we become detached from the noise of the media and the agendas out there, and you know we focus on heaven. We turn the channel to heaven. You know we we look up and we see. You know the Bible says He's the glory and the lifter of our heads. Like we're actually able to see. Okay, God's in control. He's on the throne. Uh, he's not insecure. He's not worried. Yeah. And it plugs us into a greater reality. And I think that that's what's so powerful. We need that now. Mm -hmm. Worship is the oxygen of heaven. What can people expect when they go to these events? I mean, they're going to expect to meet the most happy, optimistic people in your state that believing that God can change and flip the script. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to understand that a lot of these capital cities are very blue. They're very leftist, yeah. you know, and they're purposely that way. And yet we're coming in there as a bunch of believers, knowing that God is the one who can change the story. And so they're going to experience that worship. They're going to hear hopefully some of their amazing spirit-filled uh, elected uh, leaders, yeah. you know, share their heart for their state. Uh, we're going to have points where pastors are going to be, you know, uh, are going to be praying. Yeah. We're going to have ministry to people. We're going to baptize people. I mean, we're going Amazing. full blown, man. You're not holding back. Not holding back. Because why do you think we have gotten to this place of like, oh shoot, it, it feels like we have to just lean on God. It feels like we constantly get to this point where it's like, we're in a desperate time. Yeah. And it feels like a lot of people are getting into whatever your view on eschatology is. A lot of people are realizing, shoot, we've given up a lot of our freedoms and we've really tried to forget God or you have people in power right now that have totally tried to eliminate God from schools, yeah. institutions, other aspects of society. Well, the good news is that <clears throat> they can try hard all they want. People have been trying for thousands of years. Yeah. Uh, but the word will remain. Jesus is returning back. And he's not coming back for a church and a bride that's scared, that's intimidated. Uh, he's coming back for a shining, radiant bride. Mm -hmm. And I believe, you know, and I, 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 I joke about this sometimes, but it's like, I feel like we, we, we touch heaven so much. Like when we worship, we have these big gatherings mm -hmm. and it's like the presence of God is there. You can feel it. It's like, I feel like sometimes I'm like, all right, God, you can return whenever, you know? <laughs> like there's something about, there's something about inviting God's presence to your state capital. Like there's something powerful about that. Yeah. You know, um, we invite all kind of spirit. People invite all kind of weird spirits mm -hmm. to their state capital. Yeah. And you have Satanists that do stuff. You have LGBTQ that does crazy stuff. Yeah. It's time for believers to come and say, you know what? We want to invite God's presence here. He's the only hope for our state. What would you say to people that maybe align with those ideals or believe that they are a part of that LGBTQ community? part of that deconstruction community, a part of those communities that normally wouldn't align with what you stand for or what TVUSA Faith stands for? You know, my, my I would say, you know, I, I love Billy Graham's response, you know, like we're all broken people that need a savior, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that those people are struggling in their identity. They're struggling to know who, who they are. And there's only one person that can bring definition to who they are and that's Jesus and that they need to surrender their life yeah. to him I think at the end of the day that's always my answer it's not cliche it's true yep. it's powerful and it's the only thing that can change the heart of men finally how can people support this mission right here and what we're doing at Kingdom with the Capitol going to every single mm -hmm. state capital once again we're, we're hitting everything everywhere bring your big coats at times put your board shorts on at yeah. times it's they can go wrong. to kingdom to the capital.com that's where we're going to be uploading all of the, uh, you know, what cities we're coming to, when yeah. we're coming. Uh, we sh our first release of that should be in the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, that's where they can sign up, get the newsletter, find out what we're doing, donate, be a part of it. Uh, we have a big, massive event over New Year's Eve yeah. in, 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 in uh, San Diego that's kind of going to help kick this off. Mm -hmm. You can join us there. And yeah, about March, mid-March, yeah. game on, baby. Hey, get prepared. This is going to be amazing. Sean, thank you very much. Bless you, man. See you guys.